Hey there guys, Bane Williams here again. Today is going to be two videos today. Um, one will be a Call of Duty video, but that is not this video. So if you wish to just see my Call of Duty content, and I understand if that's the reason you subscribed, uh, feel free to basically skip this video and, you know, go about your day. Uh, if you're here because I have a fantastic facial uh, features and a wonderful voice, then stick around. Um, so basically, this video is going to be about a Android and iOS app called Curiosity. Now, Curiosity is created by the crazy, eccentric, genius mind of Peter Molyneux, the man who brought us such games as Fable and Populous, a game of, in which many, many, many tens of hours of my childhood were stolen by. Um, it's a god sim, which probably says a lot about me today. Um, now, Curiosity is a a crazy game, and it is a game. It's it's a, He calls it an experiment, and he's doing 22 experiments leading up to a game, which will have been created from the results of the experiments. No one knows what goes on in his brain, so no one knows exactly uh, how these experiments are going to combine into him creating this game. Who knows? Um, so the app has been crashing a lot lately, but hopefully we can get some gameplay in and we can show you exactly uh, what Curiosity is, because it's much easier to explain with visual representation. So I'm going to move this webcam down. We're going to show you my screen like a boss. Yeah, you can see my Diablo 3 background. Oh, excuse me. So Curiosity is currently loading. Now, Curiosity is a game about a cube. Sounds pretty straightforward, right? Um, there is a giant cube. It is, and when I mean giant, I mean giant. I mean, if, if this thing, if, if a single cubelet, let's say, was um, one meter high, this would extend well into space, is how huge this cube is in, in real life terms. Um, probably more blocks in this than the Great Pyramids of Giza. So, uh, it's ginormous. Um, now, you might notice it looks all weird and almost rusted, kind of blood splattery. Well, that's because the cube is made up of many layers, and you can only remove one layer of the cube at a time. So currently the layer is green. So all that green is current layer, all the red is the layer underneath it. When all the green layer is gone, then we'll start working on the red and so on and so forth. Now, there is interesting things on those layers. Um, for instance, this layer, the green layer, which you now can't properly see, uh, had these weird, you know, the, the liquid and lava lamps basically had that kind of a texture and, and look to it, which was pretty cool. Um, I do know that there are some impressive uh, crazy things set for future layers. Um, I know that there is a layer um, which will contain the Facebook pictures of anyone who has logged into Facebook. It will contain their profile pictures as kind of like a mosaic pattern, um, which seems pretty awesome. I think it's probably going to freak some people out, but hey, it'll be it'll be fun. Um, so let's, let's get into it. Now, why would people want to remove all this stuff? Why, you know, other than for the sensation of tapping? Well, the reason is, is because there is something at the center of this cube. No one quite knows what it is. No one quite knows um, what it's about. What we do know is, is that it comes from the brain of Peter Molyneux. And when he says that something is spectacular, it generally is. Even if it's not what we would consider, what most people would consider at the time to be spectacular, when it's shown or when it's... Um, uh, when the media behind it is consumed, it generally has some kind of spectacular meaning to it. Now, this video was being created for a... <laughs> it's nice that my coin count just keeps going down. Uh, for a member of, of my Twitter um, group called... Uh, and I do apologize, Cass, if I say your name incorrectly. Um, Cass Bitten. I'm so sorry if that's wrong. Um, who wanted to know what kind of crazy magical skills I had that allowed me to get 
60,000 coins every 45 seconds. So before I get into that, I'm going to show you, you know, the people watching just a little bit of how it works. So that way you're not like, you know, like, what the hell is he doing? You're not going to understand unless I show you. So I'm going to lift this up. Um, I have no idea what that SMS is about, but I'm sure we'll find out. Um, so down here, why is this not showing? Oh, there we go. You can kind of see. So here you've got my current coin count. Uh, here you have my highest combo and here which is currently empty you will have my current combo now combos are very important in this game um, how they work is so I'm going to zoom in to a part of the cube now which has crashed the app in the past and I'm sorry if it crashes again so you might think that these are pixel wide they really aren't those are screen wide okay so as you saw I can blow away little bits, pretty fun. Now a combo is however many of these bits I hit without hitting the layer underneath. Okay, so if I press this, my combo ends, I get a little coin marker in the center of the screen which tells me how many coins I got. Um, so combos are very important and why they are very important is because um, the high, you get a multiplier as your combos increase which give you more coins. Coins can be used in the game shop, if it loads, um, which have crazy things like a, uh, I'll show you, which have crazy things like a firecracker and a bomb and chisels, which blow up more squares and all kinds of stuff. They're time sensitive and whatever. So they're pretty cool. You need a lot of coins to get some of them, um, but they're very much worth it, generally speaking. So what I'm going to show is I'm going to show Cass um, how I get 60,000 coins. Now, I basically, I zoom into about this level. So, I mean, um, to show you what I mean by this level, because, I mean, you can't really explain it. Um, you see how the blocks are, they're all individually visible. Um, the uh, blocks on the edges uh, over here, uh, like uh, there's a little bit of space between them, like they're kind of frayed. Um, that's generally the layer um, that I work with. So now how do I do it? Well, basically the idea is, is that each screen, so if I clear this entire screen of blocks, it will give me a bonus. Now that bonus is based on the highest combo that I got on that screen, and my app crashed. Um, so what that means is that on that screen, if I get a huge combo and then finish the screen off, I will have gotten a bonus coin amount that is anywhere between 30 to 60,000 on that screen. Now I'm going to do this really quickly just to show how I do it and my kind of methods and stuff. Uh, it's going to look a little bit funny, it's going to look pretty frantic, um, but believe me, there is methodology involved. So we get to about there, yeah that looks good, uh, yeah it's about the right size. Now, hopefully I've disabled multi-touch, because otherwise this is going to be very short-lived. Okay, so now what I do is, I, because of multi-touch, I use both hands, um, and I work in, and then around, and then up. Okay, up, oh, and as, as it updates, you can see other people's work. I try to get in before it updates, so here we go. Alright, I just got a combo of 3,000, okay, so now I just do the exact same thing to basically get rid of all the other little cubes, right, just like munching away at the cubes, um, alright, and then I just get the last cubes, now my coin count when I started this was 190 something, uh, I don't know if this will be a 60,000, but as you can see, it took about 30, 45 seconds, and I just got 36,000, because I wasn't quite zoomed out enough. Yeah, generally I zoom out to about there. Um, and so to get 60,000, you're basically after a combo of about 5,000. So if I start on this one, and it crashes. All right, you get the idea. Um, basically, you know, work your way in, and then go up and then around and just just try to continue that combo for as long as possible but also as quickly and efficiently as possible. So I'm gonna move this up to me now. Um, so that is curiosity. Now like I said no one knows what's in the center of the cube. Now 
Some people have uh, suggested that it could be a flight on uh, Virgin Galactic, which is a space flight thing, which is probably going to be pretty cool. Um, but I somehow doubt that's going to be the case. Uh, I don't know what it is. I just... I get the feeling that whatever it is is probably going to change something. I don't think it's just going to change that person's life. I think if that person shares it with other people, it's probably going to be a bit of a changing experience. Um, who knows? It might, you know, we might find out that Peter Mullen is actually an alien. Wouldn't really be all that surprising, but uh, certainly a possibility. Uh, so, thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry if that was boring. I hope that if you are one of my Call of Duty watchers, uh, that you do understand that the next video will definitely be about Call of Duty, I promise. Um, thank you very much. Have a good day. And peace. Why, why do I say peace? It's, that is the stupidest way to end a video. Ever. Ever. Alright, have fun.